friends i am tender bafna today we will going to see data wave transformation with mule esp part 6 in this we will going to see how to convert a csv file into the json so we will going to you know convert a csv okay input message into json format so for that we have to use a transform message so we will going to see a demo right now so first let me show the file let me show our csv file okay this is my csv file which contain header and the tree entry right and we have to convert this into the json format and where like we have to merge city country and address and zip code into one field that is address let me start with creating a new application i will say file new new project i will say csv mule app for runtime i will keep it 3.3 only in your environment you can be a multiple runtime you can choose depending on your requirement rest of the setting i will not going to touch i will say finish side by side let me open the postman we will require it for testing purpose okay the first thing what we will do as usual we will going to search for http component we will drag and drop http component component into the canvas region now we will going to configure it so first thing under general setting you go to connector configuration click on this add button okay and keep all setting as a default you can change depending on your requirement like port number you can change like to local host anything so i will say okay in path i will say csv allow method okay i will say post oh okay this is my allow method the second thing i will going to use a transform message okay in transform message first thing i have to define, define my input payload so what i will do i will add click on add i will say input underscore csv i will say create type now from type i have to select csv okay, either you can define the name or what i will do i will browse the example okay this is my employer csv i have shown you that file at the start of our session okay these are the my record available i will say okay i will say select now what i can do i start converting into a json i will say preview okay so first thing i will say employee and now i have to map it so there can be multiple record into csv so what we can do i will say payload map then now first thing i want to show the id i will say id dot 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 id see second thing name i will say dot 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 name third thing designation now last is address so for that what we have to do first dollar dot city now we say plus plus space now we say comma plus plus i say dollar dot country then i will say plus plus again this new space i will say plus plus now i will say dollar dot Zip code. This completes my mapping. So what I will I will maximize it, and I will going to show you. See in preview you can see like then everything has been in the address. You can see everything in one field. Fine. So you can see the preview if you want to make it maximum. See this is your preview. Fine. Now what I will say I will say file. Finally, I will save my output into some file component. Source 
test resources out but for that i have to create one out folder in source test resource i will right click say new folder and say out i say finish so my postman is ready first thing i will start the application Yes, we let me copy the message also. Body, I will say text plain. And let's let me see the application has been deployed. Now I will send the message. Okay, so refresh it, we will see the file in the output folder. See, you can see the JSON message in the output folder. So, you have successfully convert your CSV message into JSON format. The other thing, if you don't want to use HTTP listener, so what I can do, I remove this. I will say, I will drag and drop file component and I will create one more folder into source test resources that is. Finish. I'm going to configure it. It says source test resources. See, let me save the application. Let me remove one file from output folder. I will create one file. New file. I will say employee.chv. Let me check. I have to create new file employee.csv. I will say finish. I will copy the content. I will save it. I will copy that file into the in folder. Okay, I have to save it. So it's out of sync with the file system. Okay, so what I will do, I will add the file from outside and let me browse or let me drag and drop. Okay, so it has copied the file employee. Let me refresh it. So let me see your file has been converted into JSON format. This is how you can convert a CSV file into JSON into XML depending on your requirement. Thanks for watching video. Hope you have enjoyed.